I'm Nikita and today I'm going to talk about being in the zone whilst dancing. Many people report to me that they find it very difficult to stay focused whilst dancing. They say that their mind wanders, that they think about different things in the past or in the future and they find it hard to be completely present. One of the most challenging yet rewarding things about learning Kathak dance is that unique contrast between the body being in flow, doing complicated movements, complex rhythmic patterns and yet the mind being completely still. This contrast between movement and stillness is what I'm going to explore in today's talk. First of all, the dancer has to have complete control over the movements. That means they have to know them. And in order to do that, it's only through a process of repetitive practice. We call this process Riyaz. By doing lots of Riyaz, the movements start to sink into the muscle memory. The brain starts to know the movements off by heart. So you can get up at any time, even in the middle of the night, if you're sleepy, and you could still do the movements. This process is something that many students of today shy away from. Perhaps they don't have enough time or enough willpower. But this process must be done and it can't be done by the teacher. It has to be done by the student. The second part is concentration. So once the body knows what to do, now we need to train the mind into concentrating. In India, we call this sadhana. Sadhana is known as a very intensive, concentrated state of mind when you're completely devoted to your dance form and you're not thinking of anything else. So when you concentrate, you connect with your movements, you connect with your rhythms and music, then there's no way that the mind can wander and think about anything else. And the final part is putting your full self into the dance, so embodying the dance. And this is the spiritual side. Unfortunately, today, many people become very good dancers, but they never get to that stage, either because they're not inclined towards it or because they don't have the fortune of having a good teacher or guru to guide them towards it. I believe dance is a process of physical, mindful and spiritual. Only when we combine these three things are we actually dancing. I see many dancers dancing with their bodies, they're moving their bodies. But all they're doing is thinking with their brain about what's coming next. And so, if we take these three approaches, then we can achieve ultimate bliss in dance. This bliss is known as Anand. My teacher once told me, I don't care how good your footwork is, I don't care how many spins you're able to execute. I don't even care how fast you can dance. All I care about is that you achieve Anand. Anand is the most important thing in Indian classical music or dance. If a dancer or musician does not achieve Anand, then the whole process is pointless. So, Next time you're dancing, try these three steps. First of all, engaging the body. Secondly, the mind. 
and finally your spirit when you dance with your spirit then your whole dance will change you'll begin to feel alive when you dance you'll connect with the deeper part of yourself and then if there's a camera on you it won't make any difference if you're being filmed or recorded you won't change or make mistakes in your movements similarly if you're performing on stage and there's an audience watching you you won't get affected by them you will continue to dance to your full capacity if you encompass these three parts I hope that this has helped you to understand the holistic approach to Kathak dancing.